Hi everybody, Al Bernstein here with another one of my video blogs. Well, we all know by now that Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. will not fight Gennady Golovkin uh, as expected uh, during the middle of this year. However, we are told that it is not impossible for him to fight Golovkin later in the year. Obviously, the negotiations between Chavez Jr. and top rank uh, headed by Bob Arum were very, very difficult and apparently um, they led to this fight not happening. It was a fight at 168 pounds that many in the boxing world thought was going to be filled with excitement. I was one of those people. Gennady Golovkin willing to step up in weight to face Chavez, and Chavez taking on a very rough customer. This is what boxing has been about for the last two years. But I would also suggest that while I praised boxing last year for making just about every great fight that we wanted to see that could be made given the Cold War between Top Rank and Golden Boy. This year, boxing has slid slightly back. There have been good fights, and there's still plenty of time for more good fights to happen. But we have seen fights that we thought were going to be on the table uh, lost to boxing fans. This is one of them. And I hope that the parties concerned, Chavez Jr., Top Rank, of course, Gennady Golovkin and his people, can get together to make this fight later in the year. I think it has uh, barn burner written all over it. And you know, say what you want about Julio Cesar Chavez. When he is in shape and when he's ready, he is an offensive machine. And he will be taking on Golovkin at a weight that is much more comfortable for him at 168. As for Gennady Golovkin, we don't have to say too much about what he's capable of. We know that he's a powerful puncher and offensively he's terrific. What we don't know is if a bigger man hits him on the chin, what could happen? And Chavez Jr. is so good offensively, he is likely to land punches in that fight. So it is a natural fight, and I hope it happens uh, at some point this year.